It's a great day for hockey cards. And today, we have a box from Great Day for Hockey Cards. Let's dive in. Hello everybody, Molot here. And today, something very interesting. Um, a, a little while ago, before everything really got uh, too crazy in the world, um, Great Day for Hockey Cards kind of reached out and said, uh, um, we need to keep the community going. And I completely agree. So he was kind enough to uh, send a box of uh, cards for me to open and, and get some content out there. So um, I am... First of all, honored that he thought of me to uh, to to be part of this little uh, program that he's got going to, to keep channels up and running, and um, I'm honestly really excited to uh, to see what we have in here. So we'll go ahead and pull this out, and there we go. So we've got a box of cards um, with painter's tape, of course, which seems to be the tape of choice for all hockey card collectors. Um, and I'm going the wrong way with it. So it just says, thanks, Molot. Great day for hockey cards. Or GDFHC, as he's known in the biz. And thank you for the case, too. I really appreciate that. So let's just dive right in and see what we got here. Um, just a giant stack of cards, which looks really cool. So we'll just start off at the top and, and make our way down. Uh, first up we have, this is a Lady Bing trophy winner of Brett Hall from uh, 9091 Upper Deck. It's a nice looking card, always fun. Good looking trophy card. The next is a Marquee Rookie from Platinum, which is a great set. And this is Logan Brown, Marquee Rookie. I think this is the retro version. Logan Brown, how you doing? Very nice. Ah, Champs Hockey. It's Samuel de Champagne. Ch Ch Champagne? Ch Champagna? Uh, he is a French Navigator. Oh. French Navigator. Um, apparently he went all around Canada. I did not know that, but now I do know. Samuel de Champagne. And next we have... It's a Opeachy Platinum, Tyler Seguin Sagan, the uh, the rainbow version of that. That's really cool. I do love the rainbow versions of the Platinum. Playing against uh, the Ottawa Senators there. And next up, Alex Winberg. It is a red variation of the SP Authentic from 19 or 1718. I'm sorry, Alex Winberg. Very nice. Then we have a UD Portraits, Jacob Vorchek. Again, UD Portraits, not my favorite, but, you know, they've been around a long time, and I don't think they're ever going to go away. Um, I would write Upper Deck a letter, but they're, they don't care. They're not going to listen to me. Next up, we have Carl, or Eric Carlson, rather. This looks like it's a uh, Synergy. I don't know if this is a parallel. I never really opened any Synergy whatsoever. Um, 1718 Synergy Hockey, so I don't know if that's a parallel, but it's a shiny card. It's awesome. I like it. I will take it. Next we have Stanislav Gal Galaviv. He's a rookie for the Washington Capitals. That's all I know. Made his debut in Boston and then disappeared forever. Where'd he go? I don't know. Maybe Carol Baskin knows. Next up, we have Brad Marchand, Synergy. This is a red um, parallel question mark. I don't know. But look at that sweet look on Brad Marchand's face. That is classic Brad Marchand, you know, like duck face, if you will. He's always got that stupid look on his face. Next up, we have... A UD canvas of Nikolai Ellers. Very serious looking card there. He is, uh, and he's even more serious back here as he's headbutting his goaltender. He wants none of your crap, and he's not going to take it. Nikolai Ellers canvas. Very nice. 
Then we have a base of Nathan McKinnon, SP Authentic from 1718. Pulling his breast, uh, best Brady Kachuk with his mouth guard hanging out of his mouth there. Very nice. Ooh, next we have, it is Robbie Fabry, OPG rookie variant. Looking good in the blues uniform there. 15-16 uh, OPG hockey. Very nice. I like that one. That'll go over on this side. And then we have an OPG Brooks or Orpic. And this is a rainbow as well. Ooh, short print. Look at that. It's number 28 of 100. Uh, black, ver uh, black parallel, I would assume, of Brooke Orpic. Very nice. And then we have Arturi Lettinen, UD Rookie Portraits. This is 16-17 uh, uh, Series 2 from Upper Deck. Looking good on that one. Next we have, oh, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Vince Dunn, Marquee Rookie. Um, cannot have enough Vince Dunn rookies in my collection, so this is amazing. I will take it. Cannot wait to see him back on the ice, hopefully sooner than later, but... You never know. So, um, day to day. And here we have an Anze Kopitar Upper Deck Base Card from 1617 Upper Deck Series 2. Mr. Anze Kopitar, very nice. And a Kevin Stevens. I'm surprised he got rid of any Penguins card. But Kevin Stevens from 9091. And then we have, it's a Jordan Stahl from Trilogy. Um, another product I didn't open a ton of. Uh, this is 1718 as well from Trilogy. But again, it was just never really one that I, I got into. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, as far as items that I collected. Next we have, it's a Patrick Sharp OPG variant. The retro variant from 1617 OPG Hockey. Mr. Patrick Sharp. Looking good. And then what do we have here? This is, oh, nice. A UD game jersey of Ryan Holweg. Sure, let's go with that. Congratulations. Uh, an official NHL game. So it's a game-used jersey of this guy. That looks, this looks like a mug shot. It's like, yeah, I, we're getting ready to take a picture. Do you mind? And he's like, no, whatever. Go ahead and do it. But cool, UD game jersey. I like that one. Next up, we have a Contours of Jonathan Toez. Taves. For the Blackhawks, which is a Blackhawk card, and we'll go over here. Next up, MVP, Tyler Hall. Looking good. I do like the MVP series. Very affordable. Um, and uh, puzzle backs are always fun as well. Next up, it's the 92 score. This is the Guy A. Bear, or Guy Herbert, if you will. Um, I do remember Guy, Mr. Guy A. Bear. Uh, he was here for a long time. Then I think he went to Anaheim, if I remember. He kind of made his name for himself in Anaheim. I could be completely making that up. I honestly don't remember, but I'm pretty sure he did go um, to Anaheim. But uh, I remember he made a commercial once for ESPN. And uh, he did the uh, the behind-the-back frisbee catch and then skated off to center ice, which technically would be a penalty if you're a goaltender. You can't cross over the center line. But anyway, semantics of it. But Guy Bear nonetheless. Guy Herbert looking good. Next up, we have a rookie year milestones from Steve Eiserman, SP Authentic. Big fan of Steve Eiserman. Always been a favorite of mine, even though he plays for Detroit. Uh, 1718 SPX, or SP Authentic, rather. It's a good-looking insert. I do like that one. Very nice. Next up, we have Tyler Sagan. Seg Seg Sagan? Seg Sagan? 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 Shining Stars from Upper Deck. This is 1718 Upper Deck Series 1. Shining Stars of Mr. Sagan. I like that. That's nice. And then we've got a rookie. Jack Roslovic from Synergy. I've been he's been showing up in a lot of the stuff that I've been open opening recently. Mr. Roslovic. That's a cool looking card. I do like that. I don't know. I, maybe I'll need to buy some Synergy. So I don't know. Maybe I can talk myself into it. I don't know. 
And here we go. Here's more champs. This is the gold variation of Mr. Lars Eller. Ooh, and it's the uh, champion uh, back one as well. So it's got the variation back on that. So not only is it the uh, the champion back, it's the gold version, which is a little more rare. Um, again, absolutely love the champ series. Wish they would come back with it. But again, uh, all my letters to the upper deck just go unread, I assume. Next up, Synergy Impact Players of Corey Perry. That's a cool looking card. 1718 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey. Very nice. Impact player. Not so much this year, but I guess you could say in, in the past he has been an impact player. Next up we have Centennial Standouts. This is a 1718 Upper Deck Series 2 or Series 1 as well. Yeah, I do remember the Centennial Standouts. Um, I did get a, a Brodeur. Uh, Centennial standouts a while back, which was really cool. This is a uh, Sid Apps, uh, Sile Sile Apps. Again, the, these names are just not my forte sometimes, and and I should know this guy because he's probably you know if if they wanted to put him into a Centennial product, I should probably know who he is. But down three to nothing, the Maple, the Maple Leafs rallied to win the Stanley Cup. Wow, congratulations! And, you know, funny fact is, it, since the color picture has been invented, um, they haven't won a Stanley Cup since, so all of theirs are in black and white. Uh, unlike the Blues, who just recently won the Stanley Cup. Yeah, I know, you got more than us. But, anyway. Joe Thornton, Authentic Moments, uh, reaches the uh, 1,400 career points plateau. And again, like I, I pulled this one uh, out of a box once, and I said it was uh, one point for every inch that his beard has grown grown since he left Boston. So, uh, 1718 SP Authentic Hockey on that one. That's a cool looking card. I do like that very much. Next, this is the photo wire shoot. This is from um, what was it? Portfolio, I think. I'll have to look. But this is uh, Alex Ovechkin celebrating with uh, Matt Nishkinen after uh, completing a hat trick. Uh, he looks like he's very happy there. The other team does not look like they're very happy, but that's what happens when you get scored on three times. So, um, yeah, Upper Deck Portfolio, 15-16. Um, I did open a box of this. I don't know if I if, if, if I was recording when I opened this or not, um, but I was looking for, there was like an Austin Matthews Redemption autograph way back when. Um, obviously, I didn't get it, but um, that's why I had opened that product. I may have recorded that video. I don't know. Here is Jimmy VC, SP Authentic Silver Skates. Looking good there. Um, this is 1617 SP Authentic Hockey Silver Skates of Jimmy VC. I like that. And next we have Upper Deck Ice. Again, one of my favorite sets. And, uh, you know, this. I think this is 16, uh, 17, 18. Um, you may see a video of that coming up pretty soon on my channel. So, um, again, looking for Barbashev and Owen Tippett, and then I forgot some of the other guys. Really an underrated rookie class, in my opinion, in that 17-18 uh, in that um, rookie crop. But, uh, yeah, again, a lot of those guys are still in the, uh, the AHL, haven't made it up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Just for me, it was great because there was a lot of great Blues prospects in that that are currently on the team. So I do like that Upper Deck Ice series. Next we have, this is a Pacific Complete from 2004. This is Peter Chianik, another great hockey name. Um, again, I don't remember how long he was with the Blues, but I do remember the name just because it kind of stood out. Good old Peter with one E, Chianik. It's a good looking card. And then we have a Kyle Paul Mary. This is a puzzle back, I can already tell because everything's up front here. So let's see who's on the back. Whoa. That is nice. Um, my camera is not where it needs to be, but this thing is, yeah, Johnny Goudreau's giant goofy head is going to have to go somewhere in my background. But thank you for this card. That's awesome. You will be seeing that again. Next, we have Bill Thomas Prospects. Um, this is from Power Play. Um, uh, 06, uh, 07 power play. I did open a little bit of this. This is back when I was mainly collecting um, just a long time ago because I'm old. And I've been collecting for many years. So I do remember the power play. Um, I don't remember Bill Thomas, but this is when Arizona was Phoenix. 
Yep, Phoenix Coyotes. Look at those totals, too. Nine games, one goal, two assists for three points. That guy's a rock star. I don't know, he's probably coaching somewhere now. And next up, we have, oh, this is a nice-looking Curtis Joseph. Contours. Numbered card. It is 270, or I'm sorry, uh, 227. It's a, wasn't that a TV show? 227? Um, 227 out of 499. Upper Deck Contours. Um, again, this is another product that I really opened. 2015-16, um, but a beautiful-looking blues card on that limited number with the blue foiling. I like that Cujo. That's really nice. And then we have Ice Premieres. This is Shane Prince, uh, number 34, um, which was my hockey number when I played. So that's awesome. Out of uh, 1,499, so uh, limited, not really, but pretty good. 15-16 uh, Upper Deck Ice. So again, it's those uh, acetate cards. Um, again, Ice, great product. I wish it got a little bit more recognition, but I remember when it first came out, I probably, in those boxes that I have over there, I probably have some, like, of the original Upper Deck Ice. I might have to find those and just, so you can see how they've evolved over the years, so. Um, next up, we have, it's a Young Guns, Mark Antoine Poulot. I'm going to go with that name. Mark Antoinette, um, Antoine Poulot. He was the 22nd overall pick in 03, and this is from 2006-2007. Um, so yeah, Poulot, Young Guns. That's cool. I do like the Young Guns, so I will take that. And then next up, we have another Shane Prince from the Ottawa Senators, Marquee Rookie. Um, this is, what is this? Uh, I can't read that. 15-16 OPG. That's a nice looking card. I do like that. Very nice. And then we've got some more rookies. This is a Nick Sorensen marquee rookie. Is this 1617? Uh, uh, yeah, 1617 on the uh, OPG Platinum. Um, I don't remember when OPG Platinum comes out for this year, so I will be excited to uh, to get that. Um, hopefully Credentials still drops here next week. Um, I haven't heard otherwise, but with everything going on in the world... I don't know if Upper Deck has pushed that back, but again, I just want that for the box. I just want Ryan O'Reilly holding the Stanley Cup. Um, so anyway, I'll get off my I'll, I'll get off my soapbox and get back on track here. Next up, we've got an Upper Deck exclusives. Very nice, Derek Broussard, number four of one hundred. I do not have a lot of um, exclusives for whatever reason. They just they elude me in my boxes that I open. So, um, but this is from sixteen seventeen Upper Deck Series Two. Derek Broussard exclusives numbered card. That's very nice. And then we have, this is an Upper Deck Ice Cold. Guy Le Fleu. The flower, if my French is correct. Uh, Upper Deck Overtime. So I guess this is from the Overtime packs that they sent out in 1718. Uh, Mr. Le Fleu. Very French of me. So that's a cool looking card. I do like that. Foily. Nice blue tone to it. And the next up, it's Dougie Hamilton, rookie form uh, uh, Panini Prism. Um, this is that dual rookie class that came out um, in, um, I think it was 13-14, yeah. Um, I really like the rookie anthology from 13-14. Uh, from um, I wish I could find more boxes of that. They are pretty widely available, but I, I was happy with that product. It gave a lot of a wide variety of stuff, and then... There was also, um, you know, some decent hits in there. So, uh, especially the Tarasenko, which, um, you know, it's, I don't think I'll ever own one of those, but uh, it is what it is. But a rookie of Dougie Hamilton, so that's cool. And then what do we have here? This is, wow, Ultimate Rookies, Tage Thompson, number 125 of 299 from the Ultimate Collection, 2017-18. That's super nice. I do like that. Nice jersey piece. I would assume it's a rookie photo shoot, but just player-worn memorabilia, yeah, because he probably wasn't he wasn't playing in the NHL at that point in time, so um, uh, he had not gotten called up yet, and then obviously we, we traded him, and he's gone on to bigger and better things, question mark. It's two to be determined, but... 
Um, same rookie class as, um, as, as Barbashev, probably one of my favorites. Um, and then we also had Jordan Schmoltz in that, who I think is still playing as well. He's out there and around. But that's really cool. So thank you for this card. That's really nice. And then we have uh, Jose Theodore, Power Play. This is from uh, Adrenaline, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 2000, 2002 Adrenaline, Jose Theodore. You got one of these per pack. They were all goaltenders, which is awesome. Um, I, you know, I probably have enough to make the set. I don't remember how many were in the set. I'd have to look that up, but, um, I've, I've got quite a few of the power plays. So. Next is Full Force, Steven Stamkos. And this is 15-16 Upper Deck Full Force Hockey. Um, I don't think I opened a lot of this, honestly, so I don't remember these cards, but that's a cool-looking card. Mr. Stamkos, looking good. Next we have... A Patrice Bergeron trilogy again. This is a uh, 6.96 of 9.99, and I assume it's a blue parallel, maybe? Question mark again? I don't know. Um, again, trilogy was just never really on my radar um, when I was uh, opening cards. And this is 16.17 uh, trilogy hockey. So again, 16.17 or uh, no, I'm sorry, 17.18. Um, so 17.18 is is kind of a a wheelhouse that I'm I'm starting to get into just because of the that rookie crop. So that's a really cool card. I do like the the look of that. Next, we've got even more upper deck ice. This is Brock Nelson. Um, I don't know what year this one is. Sixteen seventeen. So year before the other one. But again, another beautiful looking ice card. I do love that acetate finish. Um, kind of looks like he's floating there. There he goes. So Brock Nelson, very nice. We've got. Next up, Carey Price from Fleer Ultra. Um, I've opened a lot of Fleer Ultra, um, if you've watched my channel, um, because it comes a lot in those uh, in those Fairfield Company repacks. So, uh, 0809 Fleer Ultra. So, yeah, um, I don't think I have a Carey Price gold medallion, but it's a goaltender. It's Carey Price. Um, in my opinion, a future Hall of Famer. I guess it could be argued that... Um, that, you know, unless he wins a cup, he's not an automatic uh, bid in. But I think he'll have the numbers at the end of the uh, end of his career to be a Hall of Fame goaltender. Um, just my prediction, anyway. And next up, we have, it's a Yami Ryaga rookie card from uh, 9091 Upper Deck. This is the, uh, the low series Upper Deck. But it's got uh, Mr. Yager there, Double J, looking good. I have no idea who this guy is. I assume he's some kind of... Pittsburgh Penguins um, management guy of some sort, but it's a horrible looking picture of him. Oh, I just noticed something. There is a Blues logo in the back of that. Look at that. How awesome. I've probably looked at this card 900 times and I never noticed that blue note there. Got the Quebec Nordiques in the back, but that's fun. That makes that card even more interesting to me. Next up, we have a UD Canvas of Mark Giordano. Um, he is going hard into the boards there. Not looking happy about it either. That's pretty cool. I do love the canvas cards, I'll be honest. This is 16-17 uh, Upper Deck Series 2. Yeah, he's not having a good day there. He's He was going full speed and wrecked it. And next it is, oh, a nice platinum uh, OPG Andrew Shaw purple. Uh, or violet pixels. I always want to call it purple pixels, but it's violet. Um, I don't know anything other than primary colors, so violet is never on my radar. But there's an Andrew Shaw looking good. I do love those cards. Again, cannot wait for platinum to come out. And then we have a Champs Hockey, Duncan Keith. This guy for the Blackhawks. All right. Yep. I do have an interesting story about uh, Duncan Keith and how I met him personally. Um, I will not go into that story because it is not uh, not somewhere you... Never mind. It's a story for another day. Email me. I'll tell you the story. But I have met Duncan Keith. Uh, next up, Jesse Pugliarve. Rookie sweaters from SP Game Use. That's very nice. This is four... 93 of 499 Jesse Pulhi Harvey. That's a really cool looking jersey card. Um, event worn memorabilia. So, they're like, hey, Jesse, can you put this on real quick? We're going to take your picture and then we're going to cut it up into tiny little pieces and put it on a card. And he's like, yeah, I can probably do that for you guys. How much are you paying me to do it? Oh, oh, yeah, I can definitely do that. 
Yep, rookie photo shoot. So, um, but very nice card. I do love those. Awesome. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've absolutely got to be kidding me. The best for last. It's a great day for hockey cards. He has completely outdone himself. Are you kidding me? A rookie premieres Ivan Barbashev trilogy jersey. 227 of 399. Wow. Level 1 trilogy. I don't know what to say other than thank you, thank you, thank you. This is amazing. I love it. I have never seen this card before. I didn't know it existed, and now I have one, and I'm incredibly thankful for it. Wow, that's awesome. Well, great day for hockey cards. All I can say is... Thank you. Um, extremely generous, um, especially in this time when we all need to just kind of pull back, relax, um, focus on staying in, staying safe. Um, uh, they call it social distancing, physical distancing, whatever, whatever it is. Obviously, we've seen that mitigation is really our only tool against what we're up against right now. Um, so I want to thank you for the consideration of doing this. I truly appreciate it. It was amazing. And for everyone that's out there that's getting entertainment from these videos that we're putting out, um, I just want to say thank you guys for giving me the motivation to continue to do these type of things. Um, without the views and without the subscribers, I would, you know, I'd still be opening hockey cards, but I wouldn't be sharing it with a community with with a community as great as you guys. So. Um, just wanted to say again, from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate all the support that we, um, get as a breaking community here. Um, and I, I can't thank you guys enough. So, um, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we will catch you on the next one.